The hour of great mercy. Together, you, you expired, expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born on the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. 
he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood so and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy 
mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in the difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to do a holy will which is his love and mercy itself. <clears throat> a prayer to divine mercy. O oh, greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of his misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O oh God. And it is this, this mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery, true and true, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation enemies, that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Send Faustina. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, Unity with One is Unity with Three. The Blessed Trinity is described as having one divine nature, yet remaining three distinct persons. As a result, the three distinct persons share in a perfect unity. In fact, they could not be united if they were not distinct from each other. So it's necessary to speak of God as the three in one. Each one of us is called to share in this same unity. We do not share in the very nature of God by taking on His divine nature, strictly speaking. However, since our humanity has been united with God in Christ, so also our personhood is invited into communion with Him. We are called, as individuals, to enter into a spousal relationship with God. We are called to share in the profound unity of the Holy Trinity. Christ is to live in us, with us, and through us. And as we become one with Christ, as a result of His union with our human nature, so also we become one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. This unity with God is the greatest act of mercy we will ever know. Ponder today the mystery of unity. It can be a hard concept to understand and an even harder reality to live. But this is your calling. By the Incarnation, God the Son united the divine nature with human nature. And by His death and resurrection, He set humanity free from the effects of sin so that we can be drawn up into His divinity. Ponder this. Pray over it.
seek to understand it and ask the Lord for knowledge. The more you grasp this glorious reality, the more you will desire to share in it. Let us pray. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I desire to be one with you. I long to be drawn into your very life, sharing in the communion you share in your inner life. O Holy Trinity, I love you and I trust in you. you.